So, being modern today means being passive. And this is going to be very difficult to do in a short time, but I'm going to try. For there, the language is not, and I'm, I'll have to do this with a series of negations first. Language is not constituted by reference, which is a standard positivist account. In other words, what constitutes reference would be, I use the word horse to refer to the horse. Of course, that makes it sound as though what would constitute my talk, that it refers to the world, would be that I am speaking about some present horse. My word stands for that horse. Now, you may have noticed there's no horse up here with me. Derrida has noticed that. Words do not stand. Meaning is not the ultimate horizon. It may mean that people can have refrigerators, nice cars, nice homes, nice children, and nice degrees, and have absolutely no sense of who the hell they are, and be in utter despair. I too, one day, will, will die. Are you pleased, contented, joyful, delighted? Do you feel lucky, fortunate? It seems to me that, that young Douglas is going to go to his mom and dad and, 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 and they'll talk to him about it and explain how it fits and so on. And then will come that shattering night when you're about 16 and you find out mom and dad are afraid to die too. It's totally clear if you read Ricoeur that Ricoeur moves within a certain hermeneutic horizon right. out of which we simply... ideology resides in totally, the very basically belief totally that incompatible with the closure of the finite universe there is a led to Christianity and... People are bored. Consumerism creates huge unconscious needs that only fascism can satisfy. If anything, fascism is the form that consumerism takes when it opts for elective madness. Well, well at least I enjoyed my dinner. Message from it. I mean, because I don't think we should draw any big fundamental metaphysical or whatever message from it. I mean, because I don't think we should draw any big fundamental oh, metaphysical but then when or whatever message from crept it. In I mean, from the direction I don't think we should draw any that we could know something. Seriously, you couldn't afford it. But it would really be driving a forbidden no piece of our Believe me, the price is beyond your grasp. Prohibited and thus pounds, channeled in another direction. Pounds. Please, that, the that price was bobbling is out of our un little lips. imaginable. And then, Do you and, and think then that same consciously we had never admitted? I mean, free I'm, by the way, not being a, a full client of the world, I do believe free. sometimes a uh, pencil is just a pencil. I think any one of these theories can be taken too far. But it's clearly the case that the field of the unconscious try to control it. I'm talking about a willed insanity.
assembling was so large a part of middle-class life that honesty and frankness seemed the most devious stratagem of all. The most outright lie was the closest one came to truth. Meaning is not the ultimate horizon. What's the point of free speech if you have nothing to say? Well, let's face it, most people haven't anything to say, and they know it. Individual conscience, the solitary ache. Modernism was driven by neurosis and alienation. Look at this art and architecture. There's something deeply cold about them. People are but never more dangerous. We have we have, we have we eras dominated by accept what are, are fairly called worldviews, where people find themselves within those views. They find a place that their life can have meaning within. problems with that one. God didn't really answer him, he just got pissed off. I mean, you know, if you've read the book of Job, you know God doesn't answer the question, he just gets mad. Living a modest daily life in an idyllic fake, staged to keep him satisfied. Semblance but of I real mean, life, mean, deprived of the weight and inertia of materiality. Nice cars, nice homes, nice children, and nice degrees, and have absolutely no sense of who the hell they are, and be in utter despair. Ricard tells a story that one day after attending one of Lacan's lectures, he received a phone call. And it was Lacan, and Lacan wanted to know Ricard's thoughts on the talk. Ricard reports that he told him, Lacan, that he didn't understand any of it. I mean, after all, and upon Saint saying Paul's that, Lacan hung up on him. Of the early teachings I'm talking of Christ, about a will in sanity. Uh, led to Christianity. And, and Seriously, do you think that St. Paul tried to affect what now, hang up hang up Believe me, the price is beyond your grasp. Or hang up on those who didn't pounds, understand 50 pounds, his message. Pounds. The price it is, is unimaginable. Go on. In the defense of our it's parliament. free! An almost maniacal grin distorted Christie's face. Free! As if to shut out all possibility of a smile. And do you think that St. Paul, in effect, would hang up on us or hang up on... Refrigerators, nice cars, nice homes, nice children, and nice degrees. And, and do you have think that St. No Paul sense of who the hell they are? What is hanging out in the distance? Is the disconnection? Meaning is not the ultimate belief. 
religion and generally his approach is radically non-hermeneutic, meaning is not the ultimate horizon.